What have you guys discovered while you were tra uh, messing around deep underwater? Looks like there's a light there. Oh, did that open? What did I do? This might be one of those, um, it's an achievement, I think. It is. Unfathomable. So it appears these things are like nodes, these links in the chain are ones you can find. And then, I guess you're helping in some way by doing that. Well, in the first game, if you found all the achievements, all the, all the unlockable, one of the mystery items. Then there was a bonus level at the end. Well, there's a bonus level part of the way through. So I suspect the player did have done this again. But it m may well take a revisit. Almost certainly will take me revisiting the game to be able to do it. But okay, that's something for the end. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Don't close on me. Okay, I'm through. Fishies, you coming? No? Fishies don't want to come. That's an impeller. I don't really want that turned on. Oh, hell. Well, that's where the, the current's coming from, I guess. It's going to slice me in two if I'm not careful. going to slide open? It is. Oh, that was a body, I think. Okay. Can we breathe normally again now? I guess we can. What is that? Hello, Ratty. What, is that a body there? Looks like a body. We can see daylight again. Well, who knows in this place? It could be artificial light. Yeah, you rats are having a field day, aren't you? Body parts, things falling down there. Lovely. So I'm guessing... Okay, <laughs> I've forgotten about those. I've forgotten about those dirt bags. I think that's the whole idea of the game, is you've forgotten about them. How is a light suddenly dangerous? Well, I should have heard the noise and seen the searchlight, really. We're back a little bit more towards civilization, I guess. Such as it is. Um, I can't think what I was going to say now. I wonder if there's maybe one... Please stop light. Got me. <laughs> okay. Um, how do I stay in the shadow? Oh. Okay. So it moves. It pans back again very quickly. Move it fast, kid. Oh, that was a bit too close. Ah! 
<laughs> the trouble is the angle it's at isn't going to help. This is an interesting one. This is an interesting one. Um, I think I'll do it on the on the next stroke as it goes to the right. I don't think I can winch it fast enough to keep it actually under me, over me properly. Oh, that's a problem. So I need to be, I need to have uh, this platform low enough that I can stand on it. He's intense, isn't it, eh? Bomb clenchingly intense. It's a great big turbine or drive of some sort. And every patch of light now is concerning. You want me to jump into that hole? Okay. There we go. Hello, fishies. Oh. Of course, now I can breathe underwater, can't I? So let's um, let's do that. Do you reckon a mermaid is still going to kill us if we meet a mermaid? Or am I going to drown? What do you reckon? We're testing our limits here. Nothing in here apart from fish. Hello, fishies. All right, okay. Yeah, there's probably one of those um those achievements for every distinct area of the game but I'll have to just investigate those later because we want to find everything right so now we've seen sentry bot things again I presume we're heading a bit more towards civilization as such as it might be and therefore oh god hold on what is the water above us and we're dry. How does that work? So it's a water repulsion thing and you've got people, possibly just bodies up the stairs. Is so this water going to come down at some point? What have you got, some sort of repulsion field? That is very odd. I wish it's going to come down at some point, but there's a switch there, which of course I will be able to swim to once the water comes down. Why have you got all these bodies suspended? It makes no sense. Why? Okay, let's have a, well, the, the urge is to push the switch, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to look over here. Another switch. Go all these switches you're offering me, game. What does this one do? Can I drag this? No. This does what to me? How does that help? Oh. Let's break it. Hold on. I think we're going to knock this thing off. You ready? Ready? Ooh. I was waiting for the land on me. It hit it much harder than I expected. <laughs> okay. Come with me, you. Hold on, hold on. How does that help? How am I going to get you up there? That doesn't help at all. How am I going to get you... Maybe I need the water down here. 
That isn't going to float in the water, is it? How does this... I don't need this thing, do I? How is that useful? Hop on a skip. Crazy. Oh, hello. More deep, more cassette tapes. Oh, we did it. The friendly mermaid in here. The unfriendly mermaid in. Oh, are we in here? Hello, fishies. Hello, guys. Are you coming? Come on, come with me. I've, I've freed you. Well, not really. I've given you a slightly larger swimming area. Come on, guys. Come on, come with me. Come with me. Are you coming? No? Do you not want to come out? Okay, fine. Suit yourselves. Suit yourselves. What is this going to do, then? Let's have a see. Water's coming in. Here it comes. Oh. That was, um... Uh, unless we don't want, we don't want the water down here. Don't know. I'm a bit confused. Obviously, we can head back up again. We can go through the fish tank. That's right, the fish tank. We can go through the fish tank and get back upstairs again. It's not dropping the water like I expected it to. How do we do something with our pressure thingy? How, what do we do with it? Now we've ripped it off its mounting. How do we use it to, to launch ourselves or something similar? Oh, there's one here, look. We're getting up in the water. No. We are not. So weird. Uh, so we need it to launch ourselves up here, is the answer, isn't it? That's what we need to do. We need to be able to jump up and get that button. So to do so, we need... This one we can't move. It's locked into the ground. Okay, so we're going to have to propel. Have to propel the make the make the make the the launcher fire itself into the air, and then we close the door under it so it ends up upstairs. But the question remains, hello fishies, how do we get it up the ladder in the first place? Because at the moment, all it does is fire itself in the air and probably land on us and squash us. That, that will probably be an achievement at some point. That I will happily do. Let's, cl let's open this again. Because. I'm sorry I'm puffing you out, lad. Keep running. You're doing a good job. I be exhausted. Oh, here we go. Look. Here it is. Ah, but. We have a ramp. Let's get the hell away from this thing. Lovely. I wish I'd seen that before. I saw this bit of it. Okay. Making progress. Ready? Super. Bits of this remind me of Penumbra, at least the feeling of Penumbra, in that there are parts where everything's terrifying and everything's going to kill you, and other parts where you're just sort of wandering around and it's not really... You, you, there's puzzles to solve, but there's nothing really very dangerous. And it's funny how water is suddenly no longer scary. You know, water is suddenly, suddenly no longer a problem. 
whereas before it very, very much was. Um, does it matter which one we put on top of which one? I think we need to do this one first. Haha. -ha. Now, what are you, where are you going to go now? So you, it's not gravity because you are drifting back downwards again. Oh, these things are infested with worms. Look at them. So the worms are living in these colors. Maybe it's like a nursery or an incubation. They're living in... That one's got no legs left on it, look. The worms are slowly eating the bodies. Why up here? Oi. I don't know. Are you twitching? Does that mean you're still alive? Maybe they need live hosts. Yeah, they're all twitching, look. But they've got bits missing, like the, the worms have slowly consumed. Maybe they're not alive. Maybe they are alive, but... The worms are what's making them move. It's pretty goddamn disturbing, whatever way you talk about it. Should we kill some worms? Please let me say. Please say. Please say we are. I think the water's about to go downward suddenly very rapidly. Because we're taking the power source away. No? What's in here then? Can I go in here? It's probably not dropped out yet. This could be a mammal mighty splash when this lot goes downward. Where's that power core thing gone? Here it is. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's two of them, look. So, that's not good. Understatement from me there. So I think that but when both of these go, then the water will go kaploosh. Kaploosh will be the sound effect. Told you, kaploosh, see? Although, there is something else I want to do that I've missed. Which is kind of frustrating. I don't think I can get down and do it now. I want to push that. Remember that switch? I want to find myself in the air. Quit twitching. I want to find myself in the air so that I could flip that switch, but it's now it's too late. I can't do it because I'm now in the water. That switch down to the right? But okay. Maybe I didn't need to. Let's just find out, shall we? Maybe I'll have to go back down here anyway. Maybe I need to do something inside here to make the water go kaploosh. Mm. Okay, well, we're going to get out, that's all. Peekaboo. You're not causing enough destructions, I was hoping, lad. I was hoping you'd be more causing more more trouble. The toolbox, a very general looking toolbox there. Things to do when I replay the game. We ain't going back that way. What's over here? Oh. You guys, well you're in a cage. You're actually dressed quite smartly, like you're wearing suits. I, I didn't know it was here, I just thought, I'm going to look over this way and I, I try, if I get in, out of the way, I try and grab things. So, it's not, not that I knew where that was. Oh hell, let's keep moving. Too late. Yeah, it is horrible, by the way, isn't it, when they choke you like that. That's a horrible part of the game. You can't see me. There's a little kitty there. Yeah, they're more of these guys, aren't they? They're, they're, the, they're not the drone workers, they're more like normal. So there's a little kitty there. Been brought out for his day out. 
Do you fancy a day out some to go and see the drones? Sure. Yes, day, that'd be lovely. You're not very good driving there, sir. You can improve your drones, mate. Lurch from another place. So, whoever they are, they still appear to have a society of some sort. Mums, dads, kids. They don't think about anything about us very much. I mean, they're not, I'm not sure if they're modified us or if they are. Um, are we underwater again? No. They've modified us or they are um, a completely other species. I don't think. 